All right, what's up YouTube? So I'm actually gonna do this video midway, but today I'm swapping out a cluster on a uh, G70 2023, I believe, or 2022. So this is the original cluster that's right here. And then we're swapping it for the 3D digital one right here. And so it's plug and play pretty much. I mean, for the most part, this connector plugs in and then this connector over here plugs in. However, I do not know what this guy is for. This is an extra connector that does something. I'm not sure if it's for flashing or what from the dealership, but there is an extra connector right here that just G70 doesn't have. So if you guys have any input on that, let me know, hit me up. I would like to know what it actually does. But more or less, this is gonna be the OEM harness right here. So this is the blue connector that goes right there and then this is going to be the OEM harness that plugs straight into this guy so when you're doing this make sure you actually take the wire harness apart from right here see the back all the way and you're going to want to get as much of this black cable out as possible so you can run it on this side so it can reach the cluster because if you leave it taped up it's just going to be right here and you're not going to have enough room so make sure you take off the tape and you can get access to it over here I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in real quick and show you guys what I'm talking about. And I'm also gonna show you guys some things that don't work when you do this. I don't know exactly why it doesn't work. It might be some type of canvas encoding type of deal. Uh, who knows, maybe in the future someone else can figure that out. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so this is what the cluster looks like installed. Let's go ahead and go through the settings real quick. So this is what the cluster looks like right now. Um, to get the 3D effect, you're going to, have to come over here, press setup, vehicle, and then down here you see, you see how it says cluster, we're going to click on that, 3D cluster, click on it, and press maximum. Now, it has the 3D effects, I know you guys can't really see it, but it's there. Go through the settings of it. So let's see, let's change it to, so this is eco mode. Comfort mode. Sports mode. Sports plus mode. Yeah, that's how it looks like. Um, you can kind of see the effects on here. Oh, it's kind of moving. Probably can't see with the camera, but uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, the only thing that doesn't work with this is the turn signals. The camera does not display. But if you come down here, if you click this guy, cameras are on for the mirrors. So if I open the door, you'll see the camera move with it, like so. So the cameras do work. They just, for whatever reason, don't work with the cluster. And like, again, it might just be some canvas encoding or something along those lines. But if you guys, if someone figures it out, please let me know. Uh, that way we can go ahead and make a video about it and uh, show you guys how to fix it. Hopefully it doesn't revolve around the encoding or canvas type of deal because then you have to make like a module for it, this and that. and. It's a tedious process to do. You have to find someone to make you a module to do a bypass or correct it or whatnot. But uh, hopefully that's not the case and it's just like a, a couple wires that just be swapped around or something. I've already tried to do what I could, but uh, I really didn't get, much, didn't get too far with all the tools that I have, unfortunately. But um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, pretty much put the parts back together for you guys and then show you guys how to take off everything one by one so you can get to the cluster part if you do wanna go this far and put in the 3D cluster for your car. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna be doing, and yes, I didn't put everything back on correctly because some of the parts are really hard to take off. So bear with me. I just wanna show you guys the process of doing this. So first thing we're gonna be doing is taking off this guy right here. Get a plastic trim tool removed, like just like this, and you're gonna pry it out, like so. Now the reason why we have to take this out is because if you look right here, there's a screw right here, there's a screw right here, there's a screw right here, 
and there's a screw down here that you need to take off. So they're all Phillips, very easy to take off. So what we're gonna be doing first is actually taking out this screw right here and this one, and that's gonna allow you to pretty much prime this guy and take it out. When you take this part out, pull this way towards yourself. So, so when you have it right here, all you're gonna do is grab it like this and pull it. That's all you're gonna do. Comes out that easy. Then you're gonna have access to the screw right here, another screw right there that you need to take out. And this is for the actual gauge cluster. Once you have this screw out though, you're able to pretty much take this guy out. And this has to come out because you wanna be able to use to have access to the tab later on. So when you take off this screw right here and the screw over here, you're pretty much able to pull this panel out. And then there's also behind here, another hidden screw in here. That goes right here. Once you have that screw out, you're able to pretty much pry from the bottom like so, and that right side and this left side is gonna come off first. Then you're gonna come over here to the right side, come from the bottom. And if it's a little hard, try going up from the side and it pops right out like that. So now we have axes down here. What you're gonna to wanna to be doing next is getting this steering column screw right here. And then up here, you'll notice that there's also another screw right there. And then on the other side too, there will be another screw hole right there. So once you get those three screws removed, this guy will come right out like so. And there's gonna be another connector on there. And that's to control the uh, direction of the steering column. So once you get the bottom part pretty much removed, this top piece right here doesn't come out because it's a one piece with the actual cluster. So what we're gonna be doing now though is going on the passenger side and we're gonna take off a few, a few things over there. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is just like the other side, we're gonna be taking this guy off the exact same way. Once you have that off, you're gonna to wanna to take off this screw right here. There's another one right here. And you're gonna to wanna to take these two screws off. So once you have this screw off and this screw off, you're able to pretty much pull this guy out. And this is really hard to pull out. So don't be afraid to pull too hard because it's it's really in there. It has a lot of tabs holding it in place. So which, the easiest way that I found to do it was pretty much opening the glove box right here, pulling outwards, and then you start to see this come off. And then once you, when you get over here, you're gonna pull upwards and it snaps right out. And that's gonna allow you to pretty much take this piece out. All right, and the next thing we're gonna be doing is now that you have that piece removed, now you have access to all these screw holes that are holding on this piece right here that needs to come out to get to the last screw that holds this in place. So you're gonna have one, two, three, and four. You have those four screws you need to take out. And then once you have those four screws, then you can take this whole piece off together. So when you're taking this off though, the hard, the parts that are really hard to take off are these bottom tabs right here. So what I like to do or what I did was grab this and I pretty much just stuck it in here and it kind of like pried it upwards and it popped it out. So if you do this, you pop it out of place, it's easier to pull out. So I'm going to take this off real quick. See if I can show you guys. I'm gonna grab it from this side first. That's a little bit easier to do right here where the lip's at up just like that and i see these little tabs down here and see how it's kind of held in place right here with these tabs so that's when you're going to go and get this guy and pretty much just come around and pop it out of place and just like that now that is pretty much out of the way so once you have this out of the way there you go, you have your final screw that's right there that this was pretty much hiding. Once you get that screw out right there, this is able to come out. So push it out a little bit, like so. And like that, comes right out. All right guys, and once you have that piece out, now you have access to four screws that you need to take out to remove the OEM cluster. So you're gonna have a screw right here and then one on this side. And if you look up, there's also a screw right here and there's a screw right there. 
So once you have all four of those screws out, the OEM cluster of this guy will come right out. And congratulations guys, you now have a 3D cluster installed on your G70. There is just one thing uh, that doesn't work, and that's of course when you put the blinkers on, the cameras don't come up on here. So I don't know why that is. Um, if anyone ever does figure that out, please comment it down below in the video or hit me up on Instagram at prodigy underscore performance. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of these G70 builds next. I have Andy's G70 build and I'm gonna be doing a twin turbo upgrade for eventually. We have a lot in store for this and uh, hopefully I'll be able to dish out some more content for you guys. There is one extra thing I wanna mention. This little like cover for it though, doesn't exactly fit it. It actually is like a little gap in this area. So you might have to grab one of these, but for the 3D cluster instead as well. So just an FYI when you're doing this, I'm gonna have to order this for the customer and uh, get that situated for him. That's pretty much it for this video. Again, if you guys have any information on how to make the cameras work on here, uh, please let me know. Um, this customer really wants everything to work 100% and he understands it's not gonna be like that because no one's ever really done this before. So hopefully somewhere along the line, someone else gets the courage to do this and figure it out and then, uh, you know, just help out the community even more. Guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll go ahead and see you guys back here in the next DIY video. Peace out.